Hey everybody, Shane here, Shoebox Legends. Thanks for tuning in today for a vintage baseball themed episode here on the channel. Spring is in the air. Uh, opening day proper here in the United States is taking place later this week. And uh, as is always the case around this time of year, I am in the mood for some baseball cards. And today we're going to look at four pickups that I made during the baseball off season of the vintage variety, all from the 1953 Bowman color set. Um, it's not a set that I'm pursuing per se, uh, but I just ended up picking these up from a variety of different folks for a variety of different reasons. And with four of them in hand, uh, none of which I've ever shown on the channel before, figured I would lump them into a video. But before we get to that, just want to give a quick shout out to a newer channel that I found. You can see the info up in the background here, Vintage Dave T. And I'll leave a link below in the description box. If you have an interest in collecting and especially vintage baseball, the subject that we're covering in today's video, I would highly recommend going and subbing Vintage Dave T. He is new to the platform. He's only been at it for, I think, a couple months, has maybe a half dozen videos up at the time that I'm recording this. And so he would really appreciate your support. Yeah, I'm sure of it. And I would appreciate you supporting him as well. Uh, he's a very knowledgeable collector. He's been around a long time. Uh, even in some of his early videos, he's told stories about walking and getting packs of cards uh, as, as a kid as far back as the 1950s. And so any collector that's been around that long, I can certainly learn a thing or two from. Uh, he still has some of those original cards and uh, really digging the content uh, and the effort so far from Dave over at Vintage Dave T. So uh, again, please check the link below. Give Dave a sub uh, if today's subject matter is up your alley at all. And we're going to start with the first Bowman Color card. This is a bridge player who started their career in the Negro Leagues and then moved to Major League Baseball, which is why I pursued this particular card. And this is the only ungraded or raw card that we're going to see out of today's quartet. And it's Luke Easter of the Cleveland Indians. Look at that photo. A fantastic photo. Such a nice photo, in fact, uh, that this is the photo pictured on his Wikipedia page if you go research uh, Luke Easter. So props to Bowman Color, which has, of course, just gorgeous you know, photography throughout the checklist. And uh, yeah, Luke started actually with a factory team early in his career because there was not a Negro League franchise nearby where he lived. And that was a common thing at the time. So these uh, industrial corporations, they would hire known good ball players to work for their company and they would represent the team on the field, the company team on the field. They'd get time off of work to practice and things like that. Uh, so he started his career that way. He moved into the military and then eventually found himself with the Homestead Grays, uh, the kind of banner franchise of the Negro League. Uh, leagues in the late 1940s and had a season for the ages in 1948 where he led the Negro League in home runs, uh, tied with another player, and uh, outright led an RBI and was instrumental in uh, leading the Grays to the Negro League World Series championship. So that got him noticed by Bill Veck and he was then signed to the Cleveland Indians after that season and went on to have like a four or five year major league career. So I picked this one up. It's a gorgeous example um, this only cost me, I think, $13 or $14. Uh, taking a chance here, I don't usually buy ungraded vintage uh, sight unseen off of eBay, but uh, this card looked really, really nice, um, exactly like what I wanted. And this will be included in my uh, next upcoming submission to SGC. So hopefully no issues. Um, looks like it's the right size. I'm, I'm not an expert by any means, but for, you know, $13 or $14, bucks, I was certainly willing to roll the dice. And that copy was better centered than really uh, any others that I was running into out there. So decided to buy that ungraded and submit it myself. So you'll be seeing that one on the channel in an upcoming uh, you know, submission reveal video sometime later this year. Uh, next up, have another uh, bridge player who came to Major League Baseball after some time in the Negro Leagues. And this is uh, Hector Rodriguez. Great shot here. All, I mean, all these cards just have amazing photographs. That's obviously the, the selling point of the release, but just great. I love the advertisements in the background and kind of the low angle that this was taken at. Almost like you're the ground ball heading towards Hector in the infield. Uh, Hector was a Cuban player who actually played for the New York Cubans uh, in the Negro League, I think in the 30s and 40s, if I remember right. Um, and then he played in Mexico as well. And long story short, ended up in Major League Baseball, played one season with the Chicago White Sox as their third baseman, which was the 1952 season. 
Um, so his MLB career was actually over by the time this card was being pulled from PAX. And I think this is his only playing era card that I know of. Uh, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, even though it kind of came out, you know, post playing era, but I think you know what I mean. So we'll take a look at the back of this. And because this is an oversized set, um, you know, this card would not fit in my Negro League Z folio that I'm building. And so went for a graded version instead, found this really nice copy with good centering for about the price of a blaster. So pretty cool to get uh, basically a complete representation of a bridge player's career on cardboard uh, by picking up just one card like that. And then uh, we're going to close it out with two Hall of Famers, believe it or not. The first of which I picked up from uh, my YouTube buddy Don over at Don's Field of Dreams Cards. Uh, as I mentioned in a recent video where I showed the Al Lopez Diamond Stars that I bought from him, um, I had actually picked up a second card as well uh, when he put out the call that he was selling a little bit of his collection recently. Uh, so happy to support Don and add a couple of gems to my collection at the same time. And the other card that I picked up is this beauty right here, the 53 Bowman Color Bob Feller. Another card that I've never owned. And again, really good centering, which is what Drew me to this one uh, out of everything that Don had on his list and another gorgeous photograph. And again, uh, like the Luke Easter that we started off with, uh, this photograph is, is so notable uh, that it's actually on his Wikipedia page as well as the photo of Bob Feller that they use. Um, just a great shot. I love the high socks, that classic, you know, post delivery pose almost looks like it was taken around like twilight, some darker sky up here, just a really, really cool image. Really, really nice. I love this card. Um, I've never owned it. Um, I wasn't looking for it specifically, unlike the first two cards that we looked at. It was just a chance opportunity that came up when uh, Don sent me his list of cards that he was looking to part with, and uh, really, really glad we were able to reach an agreement on that one. And then uh, this is probably the, the most interesting or most miraculous of the four cards we're going to look at today, at least from a pricing perspective. This is a 53 Bowman, obviously, Hall of Famer, as I alluded to, went up on eBay, graded by SGC as a buy it now for $14. And this seller had no feedback at all. So it almost looked like kind of a sketchy auction, but I checked and they had four or five items up and the photos were consistent across those four to five items. So I don't think they just stole a bunch of photos from online and made fake listings or anything. And so I decided, you know, for under $20, with shipping and tax included, that I would take a calculated risk and I would buy this card that I think other people were maybe scared off by or, or just hadn't seen yet. Um, I think I found it within a day or so of it getting listed. So check this out for $14, buy it now. Uh, my calculated risk paid off and the card obviously showed up and I got this beautiful copy of the 53 Bowman Color Phil Rizzuto in an SGC 4.5. A nice mid-level grade. Again, maybe not perfect, but really good centering for a set where centering is a, a, a serious challenge. And uh, look at that card. The color, the registration. Obviously, the corners aren't perfect. This this did grade a 4.5, but man, I mean, I, I don't know that I could spend $14 in the hobby of baseball cards any better than picking up this card here. Just insanely cool. Um, again, I, I, I was a little bit leery. I think I texted a couple buddies, told them it was probably a 50-50 coin flip on whether or not this would even ship. Um, but yeah, calculated risk. You know, eBay pretty much has your back as a buyer. And if you don't receive the card, you're going to get your money back anyway. Uh, so I basically looked at it as like a $20 loan to eBay that may result in a beautiful Phil Rizzuto card. And that's exactly how it played out. Uh, of course, I left this gentleman some very nice positive feedback because uh, you can't do much better than that for $4. Uh, in the hobby. So he has a little bit of positive feedback now for uh, future sales. And I have the best $14 vintage baseball card that I've bought all year. And we'll take a look at the back of that one as well. Clean back. So uh, there you have it. My four 1953 Bowman color pickups from the off season. Uh, really appreciate you stopping by to check these out. I'm excited that baseball season is here. And once again, just to close it out, Go sub up Vintage Dave T, or at least watch a couple of his uh, videos. Leave a comment. Uh, he seems like a great collector that we can all enjoy and, and learn quite a bit from. So thank you for tuning in. I'll be back soon, as you know, with some more sports card content. But until then, just enjoy the hobby, everybody. Take care.